Alright, welcome to Jewel's Academy where we make learning much more easier. Today on Math 1 to 1, we'll be dealing with the units of the function. There are three methods in solving units of the function. We have the direct substitution method, we have the factorization method, and then we have the Lovetta Schroen method. All right now, when you're solving a unit of a function, your answers are allowed to be constants. That is 5, 9, minus 7, and every other constant you know. Your answer is allowed. 0, right? But then the answer is not allowed to be undefined. So when is a solution state to be undefined? I'll give you a very simple example. When you have 0 divided by 5, for example, the answer is 0, right? It's that simple, right? But then when you have 5 divided by 0, your answer is still to be undefined. Alright? And you can check that in your calculation. Just try 5 divided by 0 your calculator and you will see that you have mass error. Alright, because that's not possible. It's undefined. It's almost close to infinity. Alright, but as I told you, today we'll be doing one of the methods which is direct substitution. So follow me as we do that. Alright, so using the direct substitution method, I'll be solving a few questions for us. The first one here is to find the limit of 2 to the bracket of x squared minus 1 raised to the power of minus 1 as x tends to 2. Now, the direct substitution is very, 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 very simple. All we have to do here is to directly substitute whatever our value we are given in place of x. Right? And now we are given 2. So, whenever we see x in this expression, we will replace it with 2. So, first of all, solution. I will write the question again. We have 2 into x squared minus 1 to the power of minus 1. Whenever we see x now, Replace it with 2. Alright, what does that mean? We're going to have 2 bracket of, in place of x, we have now what? 2 squared minus 1 is the power of minus 1. What is that going to leave us with? 2. 2 squared is what? 4 minus 1 bracket of minus 1. Alright, power of minus 1, sorry. Then we have 2, 3 power of minus 1. Right, and now what we do? 3 to the power of minus 1 is the same thing as saying 2 times 1 over 3. Right, so our answer will be 2 times 1 here, we are doing 2 over 3, and that's the answer by direct substitution. Right, okay, so then we move to the second question. Find the limit of 5u squared minus 4 all over u plus 1 as u tends to 0. All right. So solution. Okay. So same thing, same thing. But now we see you replace it with zero. That's simple, right? So we have five u square minus four over u plus one. Now we now see you. That's five zero square minus four zero plus one. All right. That gives us what? This is what 5 into 0 minus 4. 0 plus 1 is 1. So we are left with minus 4 over 1. And our answer is minus 4. I think this is very, very simple. Right? Okay, so I'll be giving you a solution to solve. Make sure you drop your answers in the comment section. Alright, okay, so this is a question for you to solve. Alright, it's looking, it's looking kind of difficult, but I trust you can do it. So just try it out. Try it out and drop your answers on the comment section. Try it and drop your answers on the comment section. Alright, thank you for watching this class. Join us in subsequent classes and please share it to your friend. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next class.